with the RDS instance, you have what is called parameter groups. Database parameters specify how the database is configured. Database parameters can specify the amount of resource such as memory to allocate to a database. So you manage your database configurations by associating your database instance and multi-AZ database clusters with parameters groups. So similar to the options group, Amazon RDS define parameter groups with default settings. You can define your own parameter groups with customized settings and then modify your DB instance to apply those parameter groups. It's also important to note that a parameter group can be applied to one or more database instances. DB cluster parameter groups only apply to multi-AZ DB clusters. When working with parameter groups, there are a few things that you need to consider. DB instance parameters are either dynamic or static. When you change a static parameter and save the parameter group, the parameter changes take effect after you manually reboot the instance. When you change a dynamic parameter, by default, the parameter change is applied to your database instance without having to reboot. So similar to the DB instance parameters, DB cluster parameters are either static or dynamic as well. If the database instance isn't using the latest changes associated with the DB parameter group, then the console will show a status of pending reboot for the database parameter group. In many cases, you can specify integer or boolean parameter values using expressions, formulas and functions. Functions can include a mathematical log expression. However, not all parameters support log expression, formulas or function. Also, it's important to set any parameters that are related to character set or collation of your database in the parameter group before creating the DB instance. So let's take a look at how you can create and modify a parameter group and assign it to your database instance. From the RDS console, select parameters group. So here you'll see that I have four parameters group. So here I have four parameters group. You should be only seeing one for the database which you created. So let's select this parameter group which is the one that is assigned to the database. And you'll see the list of configurations that are in the parameter group. So some of these settings are settings that you will normally change from the settings of the SQL Server instance, right? So to make the modifications, select edit and you will have the option to edit all the values all at once. Now once you select the drop down, you will see a value of 1 or 0 for you to allow the change. And if you notice, you'll see allow values. These are the list of values that are allowed. So to change a value, you would select the parameter that you want to change, right? By selecting the checkbox, then selecting the value that you want to set it to. However, I am not going to make any change because most of the time, you won't need to change these settings. So let's cancel editing and let's go back to parameters group. To create a parameter group, select create parameter group. Select the parameter group family. In this case, it is SQL Server that we want to create. And it's for the standard edition version 15. Then specify a group name. And also for the description, I'm going to copy and paste the group name. Then select create. To assign the parameter group to the database, select databases. Select the DB instance. Select modify. And then scroll down towards the end of the page where you'll find the option to change the parameter group. So under additional configurations, you can find the DB parameter groups. So in order to change the group, we'll just expand and then select SQL param. Then select continue. For the schedule modification, we can apply during the next maintenance window or we can apply it immediately. So we're going to set it for the next maintenance window. So select modify db instance to continue. The instance was successfully modified. So again guys, in most cases you won't necessarily need to change the parameters group. In the next lecture, you'll be learning how to manage your database instance.